Hi, my name is Claudia and I'm an instructor with Family Dog School. Today, your pro tip of the day is all about food values and dog treats. So one of the things, especially if you come to class, you wanna know is what foods are right for you to bring and train with your dog. So we have some high value over here in the corner. When I think of a high value treat, I think soft, sneaky, and moist. So things like hot dogs, cheese, um, we have some liverwurst over here, not stinky, but pretty exciting because it is a meat byproduct protein. We have some fresh pet, so again, a chicken-based, meat-based product is something that's really going to be appetizing and enticing to your dog when they're in training. Think, you know, some of our low-end category stuff, like our Cheerios, Milk Bones, Charlie Bears, they're hard, they're crunchy, your dog has to stop, chew, maybe they drop a couple out of their mouth. By the time they're done eating that reward, they might not even know what they did to earn it. So we want something... I think of like a lick of a lollipop, a sudden intense burst of flavor, dissolves quickly on the tongue and leaves your dog wanting more. So when we use training treats, we also we don't want overweight dogs. So things like string cheese, you can easily rip apart and do tiny little bite-sized pieces. So out of this cheese stick, I could probably get over 100 treats for my dog and it's an easy little pop into the mouth and their dog's looking to see what they can do more to earn the reward. We have some products here. This is a dehydrated cheese product from Whole Life, which is a local um, pizzeria based company. So excellent, again, easy way to have treats. Even though it's crunchy, it is cheese, so your dog will enjoy it. We also have loaf products. So this is a chicken-based recipe, and you can lob off and cut up and dice up to this appropriate size of your dog. Easy, fun treat for them to enjoy. We have some of the stuff in the middle, so our pepperoni, our begging strips, and some of these trainees. You'll see Zooks also is another one of those categories. They're already pre-portioned for you. I do have to say, you want to look at things that have less ingredients versus more. So I always flip over that label and look on the back. So here we have chicken, potato, cheddar cheese, yogurt, flaxseed, and apple. I know exactly what all those ingredients mean, and that way I'm able to keep my dog healthy. When we get into some of the more processed ingredients, you have more of a question of what you're adding into your dog's system. So I tend to try to limit these and go more with pure proteins. If you have a dog with a limited food products, you're not so sure, you don't want to try a lot of things, look at the back of their dog food, find what protein they use, and anything in there should be fine and safe for your dog. But again, low value can be useful at home when there's low distractions, and you're maybe just rewarding your dog for a sit or a nice little sh short sit stay in an area. But um, try to go more towards the high value. Even pulling out some whipped cream every now and then, I know my dog certainly loves that, and tend to do reward heavily for the things you want and maybe low value for the things they know or just in a low distracting environment. There's your pro tip of the day.